Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to this uh, special episode of Africa Today. We're going to be talking about uh, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi's uh, attendance of a celebration honoring Egyptian women today. President Sisi and First Lady Mrs. Intasar el-Sisi attended on Wednesday a celebration honoring Egyptian women and mothers. During the ceremony, President Sisi honored a number of ideal mothers and Egyptian women in several fields for the year 2022. Addressing the celebration, the president expressed greetings to mothers who passed away and praised all mothers' great sacrifices in every family. The head of state stressed significance of women empowerment in various domains and reiterated that he pledged to enable women enjoying all positions in the state institutions. El Sisi pointed out to the latest achievements through presidential initiatives which provided all needs for women during the past years. And uh, to shed more light on this topic, we are glad to be joined over the phone by Dr. Jailan Sharaf. She is a former dean of uh, mass media and uh, technology. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Jailan. Uh, good afternoon to you and to your audience. Uh, Dr. Jailan, uh, Minister of Social Solidarity, uh, delivered an address today at the celebration and she spoke about the incentives rolled out by her ministry to support women in Egypt. How do you see her address and the importance of the state's efforts to support and encourage women? Yes, uh, as you know that uh, we, uh, Her uh, Excellency, she has already uh, made uh, many uh, projects related to women uh, like uh, Takaful and Karama uh, and this is, is uh, to help for the poor women and the, also the, uh, those who are, um, uh, yani, uh, are, not, are not financed well. Uh, as you know, that uh, this is for social safety uh, and it's also carrying uh, macroeconomic reforms. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, including uh, the, the beneficiaries of uh, poor women, children, uh, poor people with disabilities, uh, poor orphans and poor widows. Uh, also, uh, this is uh, uh, in Takaful the aim to break cycles of uh, uh, poverty and promote human uh, capital accumulation. Uh, this will help uh, to extend uh, coverage uh, uh, of additional beneficiaries, uh, and this is, will help in the social protection. Mm -hmm. uh, also, there is the the, uh, uh, the good uh, life, which is Haya uh, Karima. Uh, to help uh, uh, people to uh, live uh, in a proper uh, state uh, instead of living uh, uh, in a state to uh, give them uh, to be uh, that they are going to be in, uh, not prevented uh, to uh, gain their, their own life or their uh, own uh, living. Also, there was uh, a project uh, which is, uh, was FORSA, uh, and this FORSA uh, also uh, for social protection uh, where uh, this is with, enable beneficiaries uh, to build a measure of economic resilience and financial independence. Uh, so the uh, Minister of Solidarity is, is, is in hand in hand with the uh, National Council for Women uh, in order to support women uh, in their lives, and especially the bread women and the, all uh, the categories of women uh, in Egypt. Yes, well, uh, Dr. Jailan, uh, President Sisi instructed the government to empower women and also uh, to uh, support them and to fight psychological and physical violence against them. Now, the president has long been an advocate of women's rights. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, let's first uh, talk about today uh, for his uh, excellency, President Fatah Sisi was honoring uh, uh, the Egyptian woman and the idol uh, mother for 2022, uh, where he honored uh, 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 pioneers of women in Egypt, like uh, Farhanda Hassan, Zuhir Konsoa, uh, uh, and uh, Mona Omar, the ambassador Mona Omar, uh, Mona Zulfukar, the lawyer, uh, also the uh, great uh, art, uh, uh, artist uh, Farida Fahmi, and so on of this uh, great woman. And uh, I like the theme of this uh, celebration today as uh, the woman is the key of life. Uh, where uh, also the, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, projects done by the uh, National Council for Women. Uh, let's move with your question about uh, the, uh, 
the, uh, what the, uh, the president is doing for women uh, regarding uh, social life and uh, social status. Uh, as you know, in February 2021, uh, the Council of Ministers referred to Parliament uh, a proposal for the law. Uh, but unfortunately, this law uh, met with a societal contro controversy, and many women organizations uh, uh, criticized this because they found that it is not justified to uh, uh, give the women the right. Uh, but uh, due to that, uh, President Sisi uh, is caring that we should uh, re uh, review this, uh, uh, this uh, draft or this uh, law once again, in order that it meets the rights of the women. Uh, so, uh, among the difference of this law, uh, there are ad articles on expenses, uh, whether the waiting period or the child and matters related to women's rights, uh, and arrangement and age of custody of the child. You know, these all the problems that is facing women, especially those uh, that are divorced or, uh, um, or even khula, as you know, where we have another uh, terminology related to uh, uh, divorce. Uh, so uh, there, especially also Article 20, which takes custody uh, of the child, and we, uh, this is a very important issue because when a woman is divorced, there is a problem reg regarding the child, where they will live. They will live with their mothers or they will live with their fathers or who will be uh, caring of them. So uh, this, all these problems is uh, taking uh, place and that's why there was a demand that it should be resolved and issued during 2022. Also, there was a draft uh, regarding the physical and psychological uh, 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 caring regarding women that, uh, that also uh, had been addressed by the parliament uh, mm -hmm. uh, in order that it should be uh, a, a, a regulations that will help women not to be hurted, and especially uh, that there is the domestic violence against women and girls, yes. and they should, uh, mm -hmm. uh, should stop that. And this is, will be also there will be uh, uh, there will be rules uh, will be taken uh, against the man who will treat women in a, a violent way or treat her badly, because we should respect women as she is the secret of our of life, as mentioned by. Uh, the president of Fatah Yes, uh, also in her speech addressing the event, uh, head of the National Council for Women, Dr. Maya Morsi, asserted that President Sisi's era has enhanced women empowerment in various fields. How do you see the significance of the role played by the National Council for Women and similar institutions in Egypt? Uh, yes, as you mentioned, she uh, said that uh, President of Fatah Sisi, Dr. Maya Morsi, uh, asserted that that he is uh, uh, the backbone to women in Egypt, as he uh, saw and still see them that they are sacrificing themselves uh, for their uh, country, for their uh, for their family, uh, and they are uh, doing a lot of things for uh, uh, the country. So, uh, she, the president uh, uh, of the National Council uh, for Women uh, explained that also that the council launched this year. Uh, in cooperation with the relevant ministers' programs. Uh, these programs will uh, give opportunity for women uh, to have their uh, projects uh, or to do their own uh, jobs even uh, from home or, for, or to go to their uh, work in order to uh, uh, support their family. Yes. Uh, that's why also, and this is, is uh, suitable with the, uh, the, the uh, sustainable development as well as the climate change uh, as you know, that we are going to uh, uh, be uh, the whole thing of COP27. Yes. Uh, this project uh, will be, uh, uh, will be uh, concerned with the programs to recycle agriculture, waste, and green projects. Also, they will encourage women to enhance financial and digital education and training for yes. entrepreneurship. And this is very important because when women start a small project, this is, will be accelerated, and then it will be, uh, in, uh, will be a medium project, and then it will be um, a part of the mega project. And this is also will help in the income of the country. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, one of the things that uh, she mentioned in her speech, that they will enhance marketing service uh, for business owners and develop traditional crafts 
in addition to qualifying girls in technical education, and this is very important that women and girls to be educated technically uh, and promote the use of technology because this is will empower them economically yes. and at the same time will empower the country economically. Yes, uh, also uh, Minister of Planning and Economic Development, uh, Dr. Hal Al Said, uh, she gave a speech during the event uh, where she said Decent Life Initiative has provided education and healthcare services for more than 54 billion women across the country through the previous year. How do you see the uh, initiative of Decent Life and the activities being done through such initiatives? I think this is an issue that is very important because this is uh, for the dignity of the women and the, yes. of them to, uh, and their parents or their family uh, to live uh, in a good life because this is what the, uh, the attitude and this is also the trend that Egypt is caring of uh, all the uh, all the people in different uh, places, the uh, countryside and in all the cities in Egypt because we should uh, gain a life, a uh, good life, we should uh, uh, be treated as uh, humanity and because this is, as you know, that uh, 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 His Excellency had launched uh, on last September 2021 uh, the strategy for, uh, the national strategy for human rights and this is one of the human rights for, uh, to live in a dignity and accordingly also there are uh, another uh, initiative which is uh, to build uh, uh, the uh, family, the Egyptian family, uh, in order to keep our identity and save our identity and to save that our people, uh, and they should uh, be uh, gaining uh, uh, good life, as this is one of the principles of uh, uh, our constitution uh, that had been uh, 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 have been launched in uh, 20, uh, 2014. So yes. this is initiative will be uh, a benefit uh, for all the Egyptians, not only for women, but all for all the uh, people, if the child, the teenagers, the youth, the, all the other people. We are going, we are now in the new republic, so we we should proceed with this initiative and complete it till the end. Yes. Uh, well, uh, also Minister of Planning uh, added that under the directives of President Sisi, a program was launched for boosting women leadership skills and supporting women empowerment in all fields. Uh, how do you see the significance of uh, boosting women leadership skills and uh, support in supporting women empowerment actually? Uh, as you know, if we refer to the amendments of constitution that had taken place on two, uh, 2018, uh, the, uh, the quota for the women had been increased to more than 25 percent, and now we have women representing us uh, in the parliament and they uh, advocate the rights of women uh, to uh, have equality of women. Uh, also, uh, there, uh, now we have leadership in, uh, as you see, in the cabinet. Uh, we have, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Hala Saeed, as she was the Minister of Planning and Economic Development. And this is a very important uh, uh, ministry, as you see, is planning for all the country as well as the economic development, because the economic is the backbone of uh, of all the countries, if you are developing economically, that means that you will be more power and you will be able to lead uh, uh, other countries. You are not going to be under the umbrella of others. Also, yes. we have the Minister of Solidarity, she's a woman. Uh, the Minister of Industry, she's right. a woman. Uh, mm. the, uh, we have also uh, leadership that had been honored by His Excellency today. Uh, uh, in the field of uh, science, in the field of uh, uh, politics, in the, as a, uh, in the field of as ambassadors. So it's very important uh, uh, to see women in uh, leadership and also uh, in guiding uh, important uh, play, uh, places, uh, such as we said, economic uh, solidarity. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, initiatives by the Minister of Solidarity, like Mawadda, uh, as we are uh, proceeding towards uh, the, the building of family, uh, as you know, also there was uh, an, uh, a, a, another law which is under uh, study now by the parliament uh, that will be issued that they should uh, train 
uh, men, the male and female who are going to uh, get married, that they should be uh, uh, physically and psychologically uh, able to uh, have a new life. So this is right. very important also that right. we are now building uh, the uh, new generation how to be responsible as they will be responsible in their homes, they will be responsible of their countries. Yes. Well, I would like to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jailen Shara, former dean of mass media. Many thanks for your insight.